everybody. My name is Miana. Welcome to Global Air Learning. Today's topic is fables, and we are very happy to let Felix and Grace present their slides. And before I let that happen, can we all introduce ourselves? Oh, and also guys, can you all open your camera so the teacher can see you raise your hand? So my name is Miana. I am six years old. I love to draw, skate, and dance. My name is Annie, and I live in Seattle. I'm nine years old. I like to ice skate and rollerblade. My name is Michael. I'm seven years old. I like to play chess. My name is Randall, and I like to play hockey, and I'm eight years old. My name is Alicia, and I'm nine years old, and I live in Manhattan Beach, and I go to fourth grade. I like to play basketball, and I like to read, and I play the piano. My name is Ethan, and I like playing the piano, and I like reading, too. My name is Austin, and I am eight. I go to Lincoln Elementary, and I live in Redondo Beach, and my favorite hobby is writing. My name is Ben, and I am 10 years old, and I graduated from fourth, fourth grade, and I'm currently waiting to go to fifth grade, and um, my favorite hobby is the computer. Like I like to help people troubleshoot and stuff like that. My name is Talon, and I like to swim and draw, and I am in kindergarten. My name is Amy. I am five years old. I'm almost going to be six. I like coloring and play. We have a new bunny, and I like to draw. My name is Dora, and I'm 11 years old. I live in Shanghai, and I like drawing and skating. My name is Isaac. My brother is Ethan. I like to draw and paint. Hi, everybody. My name is Grace, and I'm 10 years old. I grew up in Los Angeles. I live with my sister, mom, dad, and grandparents, and uh, I love reading and writing. I also play volleyball, and I hope you enjoy our fables today. And I am teacher Tanya. I am pleased to be with you today. And I have been teaching for 28 years. I live in Los Angeles, California. And now I am going to turn our presentation back to our host, Miana, and she will tell you what's next. So now we are going to start our presentation. And now Felix is going to do the fables with us. So let's see what he has. So first, uh, what are fables anyway? So it's like a story, and then it has a moral at the end, like Aesop's fables. So the answer is a short story with animals that can talk, and always, like Austin said, has a lesson or moral. So the first um, fable we're going to share with you is a fable called The Chicken, written by me and illustrated by Miana. So there was an impatient chicken. This chicken didn't have patience. One day, he decided to grow grass. He got frustrated after a few weeks. So he pulled the grass with this strong beak. The grass looked taller and he quickly called his friend the mouse over. When his friend came over to look at the grass, it was all dead. The friend just laughed at him and said, have patience. So the lesson or the moral is have patience. So does anybody want to share what they learned in uh, this fable? It's I learned to be patient. Next one is Pizza Raccoon. It's written by me again and illustrated by Mion. There was a raccoon long ago. He was greedy, but he didn't like to work. He just made an angry face and his friend would give him pizza. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I got some more pizza for free just by making an angry face and Raccoon laughed. But something strange happened. His best friends, George and Bob and Chris and Ethan and Francis, who were all hippos, all didn't like him anymore. He soon realized his mistake. The more you get, the less you have. 
Well, this is something that's similar. Does anybody want to share what they learned? Or Don't be greedy. Good job. The next one is Music Meerkat. It's also written by me and illustrated by Miana. So there was a meerkat that had a friend who had o- who always had an owl that always partnered with him like a band. One day they got in an argument and the meerkat shouted at his friend. The friend stared at him and ran away. The next day, the music show went horribly wrong. The meerkat's music sounded bad without his friend. He finally understood. Nothing is more important than friendship. Yeah, this is a, a kind of similar. What did you learn or like what? In this fable, I learned to forgive people. Yeah, good job. Very gracious. So the next one is also written by me and illustrated by Miana again. So it's Think Monkey Pink. It was a challenge from a big monkey. And that was to cross the river. No monkey ever crossed the river before. That monkey didn't want to look foolish. So he agreed. While crossing the river, he fell and died. His father said, why did you have to do that? Never act before you think. Uh, This is something that's similar. Does anybody want to like share something? You have to think before you do something. So at school, sometimes when you say something mean to someone, like the teacher says, like, um, like say something, you have to think about if it's going to be nice. Before you ask, you need to think. If you don't, then you will probably get injured. So the next one is Greedy Lion. Um, it's written by Grace uh, and still illustrated by Miana. It was a poor lion that lived in a s- small hut made out of straw. He had no money and he's, he's always really hungry. His life was really miserable. The things changed completely. One day, a legend lion visited him and told him big news. You are actually a royal prince. I feel sorry that you've been poor, the legend lion said. Soon, he lived in a big palace with good food every day. He had a fancy bedroom and expensive clothes, but he never felt that it was enough. He wanted more and more. He collected gold from people and even started to take money from the poor. People complained about what a greedy king he was. Finally, the legend lion appeared again and said, A greedy person is the poorest person in the world. You must go back to your old life. The greedy lion spent the rest of his life as a beggar. So the uh, moral is a greedy person is the poorest person in the world. So like, don't be greedy. So the next one is Robert Ant's Confession. Written by Grace and illustrated by Miana. So there was a little ant that liked to steal from others. He began by taking small things like cookies or pencils. He never got caught. Then he went bigger and bigger until he grew into the famous robber ant. One day, he was finally caught by the turtle cops when he was stealing in the jewelry store. He confessed, I was just a nasty little ant stealing cookies. I don't know how they became a robber. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destinies. I wish your mom and dad told you that earlier, the turtle cop said. Yeah, so this is basically the lesson. It's like your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. Well, that's a lot, but it mainly means that if you keep on doing something, it's going to become your habit and it might lead to something bad. You don't steal things from people. I think a good habit is very important. If you keep doing the things you do, then it will it'll become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you can't control it. Next one is a happy reunion. It's also written by Grace and illustrated again by Miana. There had a bunny who, li- who had a best friend who lived very far away from him. He hadn't seen him for five years. He really wanted to visit him, but he did not have enough money to buy a train ticket. So the bunny made a plan. He worked two jobs every day from dawn to dusk. He was tired but happy. After three months of hard work, he finally earned enough money 
for the trip. A week later, he and his best friend got together at the train station. They had a wonderful reunion. It was the happiest moment of the bunny's life. The miles of hard work are worth one moment of happiness. Yeah, this is a close. All the miles of a hard work road are worth a moment of true happiness. If you don't have money, then you have to work. If you're lazy, you and you work from home, you'll be like, who cares? It's just a day without work, so what could possibly happen? And then a few months later, you don't work at all, and then you see, and you want to be like your friends, so then you have to work like months, and then you'll be like your friend. If you work, you can get paid off. Okay, now Grace is going to do a vocabulary review. Frustrated. Frustrated is an unhappy feeling. Like when you can't complete or figure out something, you're angry or annoyed. For example, my sister was doing a Lego project, a pianist with two moving arms. She spent two days to build it. When she was just about to call it done, she realized that one piece was missing. We ordered that single piece, but we had to wait for a month to receive it. My sister was really frustrated after that. Turtles get frustrated when they can't get what they, they sometimes get frustrated if they don't get what they want to eat. Once my brother had a project and it was with like chips and you had to make like a circle with the chips that stood like up and then like he got really frustrated because every time he was close to finishing, um, my baby sister would like stomp on the ground and then the chips would fall back down. When I get hard homework, I'm really frustrated. Um, sometimes I work English, I am really frustrated, like hard ones. When you work very hard on your homework and you get more. I was frustrated because the robot wasn't working. One day when I didn't want to eat uh, my food, I was frustrated. Um, sometimes I get frustrated when I do math. I got frustrated when nobody was listening to me. That happens to me too, Ethan. Okay, Grace, let's see what our next vocabulary word is. Impatient. Impatient is when you can't wait for something or someone. Imagine there's a super long line in front of you in a theme park, like Disneyland or Legoland, and you have to wait for two hours to get on your ride. It can make you feel very frustrated, and you start to feel impatient. Sometimes in Legoland, like the boat ride, we wait like one hour. If someone tells you tomorrow who will have a party, you might feel impatient. You might feel impatient when you won't, um, when you um, have dinner and it takes two hours to cook. When it takes very long to get into a Zoom class, you <laughs> feel impatient. Yes, it's true. Okay, let's see what our next word is. Greedy. Greedy is when someone wants something badly for more than is needed. For example, someone really likes ice cream and can't stop eating it. We can say that this person is greedy for ice cream. In stories, people that are greedy usually want a lot of money and power. Sometimes I like ice cream and I eat too much. I just want everyone every ice cream but my mom said just take one and then i did sometimes i do greedy like cookies and things like eating chocolate cookies i eat all of it when my brother stole 20 of the cookies from from the package oh my sister she very 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 liked chocolate when i give her a bar of chocolate. She asked me, do you have more? I think she's greedy. Sometimes my brother can be a little greedy because place where my mom stashes like some candy and then he sometimes like sneaks down there to get some candy. I am greedy because I like ice. A greedy person sometimes doesn't share. If you are greedy, some people may not like you. Meerkat. Meerkats are small animals that live in the desert and grasslands in Africa. They're really cute with brown fur, 
big, big eyes and a small face. Meerkats often show up in movies like The Lion King, as you can see in the first picture. They are so small, people cannot see them, but they need to be like this inch or this inch. And people can see them, but they're small. Partnered. A partner is a person who plays or works with another on the same team. For example, Felix partnered with me to make this presentation. My sister and I once painted a picture together. It was big, but we used four papers to make it, and then we taped it, and then we painted together. I partnered with my mom to beat the computer in chess. I got partnered with my friend. My teacher said we had to partner up. I chose my dad to partner up with to make the best drawing ever. Band. A band is a small group of people who play instruments and sing together. For example, someone who plays the drums might join the band at school. In the picture, it shows a family band. So I am in a band with my husband. I play guitar and he plays the drums. My sister and I made a band. I played the piano and my sister plays the violin. Argument. An argument happens when people don't agree with each other and then they have an argument. Here's an example. Modi and I had an argument about whose turn it was to clean up the Legos. Sometimes me and my brother argument about who goes first on the piano class. I argue with my friend. Sometimes I have an argument with my friend. I never argument with my friend, but, but I always argue argument with my mother because of my math and mondays we my brother doesn't argue with me but on fridays we argue a lot because we have we don't agree which one has to clean up the whole house challenge a challenge is something that puts you to a test or competition foolish foolish is being silly Doing things that don't make sense. Clearly shows this in the picture. Miserable. When you're miserable, you feel very unhappy and upset about something. For example, we recently watched a video called The Most Dangerous Ways to School. The kids in the video had to walk six hours to get to school. Your way was also very dangerous, so it was miserable for the kids. Legend. A legend is a person or thing that is very famous for having special skills. For example, Kobe Bryant is a legend at basketball. You could also say Sun Wukong is a legend too. Complained. When people complain, they express unhappy feelings about something. For example, you might complain about bad weather or mosquitoes. Royal, something related to the king or queen. Here's an example. The most popular royal family these days are probably the British royal family. Um, that's the family in the picture. Beggar, a beggar is someone on the street who lives by asking people for food or money. And nowadays there are over 100 million children in the world that live on the street and most of them are beggars. Their life is miserable. Confessed. When you confess, you admit that you have done a bad thing. For example, the robbers confessed that they had stolen money from the bank. Recently, I read my mom's favorite book, The Kite Runner. It's a very touching story about confessions. Value. The value in the story Robber and Confession means the importance of something in your life. For example, honesty, kindness, or trust. When you value someone, it means that you see how good they are. Like my volleyball teammate, Ella, 
She's very kind and caring to everyone, and she's loved by the team. And I, that's like her value. Destiny. Destiny is your future or the path of your life. For example, the story of Miss Rumpheus, when she was little, she said to her grandpa, when I grow up, I will go to faraway places, and when I grow old, I will live by the, beside the sea. And most importantly, I must do something to make the world more beautiful. And she did it all. Her childhood wishes became her destiny. Union. When you get together after a long time of being apart. For example, many people in China leave their hometown for work. At Chinese New Year, they go back home and spend time with their family. This is called a reunion. Dawn to dusk. Dawn to dusk is an idiom, and it means that from early morning to the evening. Here's an example. The volleyball tournaments always start at 6 a.m. in the morning and ends around evening. So we play from dawn to dusk. Happiness. Happiness is when you feel happy. Last summer, my friends, my sister, and I spent three days at a water park. It was super fun, and we were filled with happiness. I wish we could go tomorrow. Moment. A very short period of time. There are happy moments when you play with friends, scary moments when you watch a scary movie, and funny moments like the picture shows. Okay, so that was our last vocabulary word. Now we have two questions before we will go to our game of Kahoot. Now we're going to thank you, Tanya and Grace, and also Felix, for presenting all our slides. And now we're going to have some questions, two questions for you guys. Thank you, Miana, our host. What animal in the fables would you like to meet? I want to meet um, the turtle cock. Fables teach us right and wrong. What do you do to be kind to other people? What's the right thing to do to be kind to other people? Be kind to yourself. Um, I help them. Teach them good fables. Don't be greedy. I think everybody is done, so we can play Kahoot now. about a presentation, please let us know. Next week, there will be no class because it is the 4th of July holiday in America. But in two weeks, please join us. Derek will present about the space race. Thank you, Felix, and for our host,